GRTA had canceled the latest bid, saying its purchase of new buses amounted to a change in specifications that might lead to protests. Kloppenberg countered that the new buses were clearly stated in the bid, and as the lone bidder, it wanted to proceed. GSA agreed, and now it comes down to price. Brad Kloppenberg is company vice president. We'll submit a fair, you know, fair price, um, but uh, whether they're under uh, an obligation to accept whatever we put out, um, I, I, I don't. I don't know that that's the case. The bus system has been operating the last 12 years under month-to-month -month contracts. It began with a 2003 RFP protest that reached all the way to the Guam Supreme Court. A rebid was ordered, but that didn't happen until 2010 and was quickly withdrawn. The next bid came out just last year. Kloppenberg says apparently it just wasn't a priority. The majority of this time, or at least half of this time, you know, the 12 years, um, there, really, there wasn't even a Guam Mass Transit Authority. It was just under DOA. With a contract, both the company and the riders will have some certainty that the bus system will continue. Kloppenberg says they're just happy to see it through. All we really wanted from the very beginning was, was a, a fair um, process, you know, to be able to bid. And, you know, if we win it, great. If we don't, you know, f fine. I mean, we've lost bids before. Now they're just waiting for GRTA to meet with them. Yeah, for Guam's News Network, it's, it's I'm Nestor Leconto.